Hi everyone, I'm Darren Fifield. I run product development for Oracle Policy Automation. Today I'm going to be talking to you about what's new and exciting in version 10.4 of Oracle Policy Automation. Got a few slides to run through today. Basically we'll cover the key points pretty quickly and tell you where to get more information. So really there's three areas that we focus on for version 10.4, policy analytics, collaboration and testing, and integration and deployment. Some pretty exciting new functionality and I'll cover it briefly and show you a bit of what it's all about. So firstly, policy analytics. So policy analytics is an area we really focused on for version 10.4. There's really three areas that we think will really help our customers get the most out of the policy models they're creating and discover new ways to add value to the organization in terms of getting policies right the first time, really understanding the impact of policy changes, sharing how policies are actually having an effect in, in practice, but also to do more sort of high volume analysis than has been possible in the past. And some really exciting new features we've added are around coverage reporting, which will help you understand which policies are actually being used in practice and help you streamline your policies where you have perhaps things that aren't really necessary that you can remove. So the first feature I want to talk about is what if analysis in Excel so that lets you work directly with data you've got in an Excel spreadsheet, run it against policy models you're developing in Oracle policy modeling, and see what happens. Basically, as you change those policy models, analyze the results of applying each model version to the data in your workbook, and then you can use standard Excel features to slice and dice the results create pretty charts, whatever you like to do in Excel to analyze the data. You can also use this feature to create new test cases that you can import directly into Oracle Policy Modeling, which will help you create those test cases much more quickly than before. An exciting new feature we have in OPA 10.4 is the batch processor. This replaces the previous data source connector and it's really designed to help you work quickly with large volumes of data to see what the impact of your policies will be using real world cases as your source input. So for example, if you have a lot of cases you captured uh, through your CRM system, or if you have an existing data mark full of information from somewhere else, you can take your policy models, you can run it using the batch processor against that, augment that information in your data mark, and use your regular BI tools to slice and dice the results. So it can also be used for you know, batch payment processing and anywhere where you want high volume throughput. It's a very powerful new capability. An exciting feature called coverage reporting lets you see exactly which rules are being used within your policy model based on test scripts, CSV files, or existing data so that you can think about streamlining your policy if there are certain parts of your policy model that never actually get used. Very powerful capability hooked in directly with test scripts, uh, regression testing with the, the batch processor. Modules is a great new feature. This lets you basically have multiple projects that you combine together into one final deployed policy model and designed to let you work collaboratively, perhaps with other organizations, um, perhaps between your internal and external experts, and um, gives you quite a lot of flexibility in terms of structuring your projects and allowing you to roll them up together. So one of the things you can do is, you know, team one can build and send a module, team two can add a reference to that module within the project they're working on. Another model is where Team one can check in a the model, the module project source material to central source control server. Another team can get that and build it directly as a module themselves locally, 
and how to reference the project they're working on. We've also done a lot of work to make the standard help available in multiple languages in this version. So we've now got Italian, Spanish, Chinese, French, and Portuguese versions of the help. We really think this will help users around the world get the most out of modeling policies. Also, inferred entity instances. This is a great new feature. This using a rule alone and create new data elements, new data instances, new object instances that didn't exist when the rules were called. This is very helpful for integrating with other systems and um, you know, very powerful indeed. And then last but not least, uh, a new interview portlet that runs inside WebLogix or JBoss Enterprise Portal Server is designed to make it easier to deploy web determinations uh, if you've got a portal environment that you want to get interactive interviews into. Lots more things are available in 10.4 for every type of user, system integrator, tester, analyst, etc. cetera, um, that's working with OPA. And you can find more details, as always, on the website, on the OPA forum. If you have questions, please post them there. More videos will be coming on this YouTube channel. And of course, the OTN site for OPA on oracle.com has a more detailed version of this presentation, plus lots of other great information. We highly recommend you check that out as well. Thanks, everyone.